Y'all, this is Deb, and I, yes, I am back with a tag. I was tagged by Loving D Naturally about a month ago, and I'm a little behind with doing this tag, so uh, if you guys are interested, please keep watching. This is the curl confession tag, and I think what I am supposed to do is name 10 things that I do that goes against a natural hair rules. Whatever, I don't know. So, let me get started. Number one, I don't always deep condition my hair. I know I need to do it every time I, you know, do my regimen, but sometimes when I co wash, I don't deep condition. So, I don't know if that's going against the rules, but uh, yeah, I know. I know. Number two, when I had a problem with single strand knots, um, yeah, they say you're supposed to cut them out, but depending on where I was, if I had a single strand knot, um, I pulled that out. I, I was not about that. That annoyed me. <laughs> so I would pull it out, and I know you're not supposed to do that, and I don't mean I would pull the whole strand out. I would just pull off where the knot was. Yeah, I know that's bad, but that annoyed me to find single strand knots. That is just like the devil of natural hair for me. Number three, I comb my dry hair. Number four, I brush my dry hair. And I guess you say three and four, yeah, I'm cheating because it's not a whole lot. I can't come up with 10, but I do want you to know that um, I comb and I brush my dry hair. I mean, why not? If your hair is hydrated, you should be able to, but all of the don'ts of the natural hair rules say only comb wet to damp hair. Yeah, sometimes I, I do the opposite. I do number five, six, seven, and eight. Sometimes I miss my relaxed hair. Now y'all can sit up there and judge me if you want to, but if you are honest with yourself, you miss your relaxed hair too. I mean, this is hard, y'all. This is not easy. I remember when I was relaxed, I could get up in the morning before work and shampoo my hair, do a quick conditioner rinse out, and lay that down with some gel and, you know, put a little leave-in conditioner, 911 emergency leave-in conditioner in my hair and a little oil, and off to work I go. I kept my hair short. I kept my hair papered. And y'all, I miss the ease of my relaxed hair. I really do. I'm not going to lie. Or nine. Sometimes when I twist my hair, I share hair. <laughs> so maybe that's why my twist outs are frizzy. I know they say that in order to get the perfect twist, do not share hair. Sometimes I do. So maybe that's why I have a hot frizzy mess when I'm trying to accomplish my twist outs. And number 10. I don't always lock the moisture into my hair. So maybe that's why I'm having the problem that I'm having now. But it took me a long time to figure that out. That I had to do a leave-in, a moisturizer, and an oil. Well, I think the problem why I wasn't doing that is because I was getting a moisturizer confused with a sealer and if your butter has the first ingredient or second ingredient if it has water in it then it's not a moisturizer or is it I think if your butter has water in it then it's more of a moisturizer it's not gonna act as a sealant a sealant doesn't have watcher and it's mostly consists of oils. I hope I got that right. This has been like millions of conversations that I've had with Pal Scrap Terry trying to wrap that process and that whole thing around in my brain. That's my tag. Those are my 10 curly confession things that I do that I should not do according to the natural hair rule, Nazi, whatever. And I am going to tag a few people in this tag. So, Here's who I take. You may think I'm crazy, but I make believe.
right, ladies, I want to see your I want to see your tag. Leave your tag in the comment section here in this video so I can watch it. And I want to thank Loving D Naturally for being so patient because I took so long and thank her for tagging me. And I hope you all enjoyed this tag. And as always, until my next video, thank you guys for watching and be blessed. Bye. of the West and a motorcycle monkey